Hello, in this tutorial I will be covering how I create custom tile sets in Photoshop for a stencil flash game. I'm using Photoshop CS5 to make my pixel art, so I'm going to open that and create a new image file that's 32 by 32 pixels at a resolution of 72 dpi. I prefer to use the pencil tool at the size of one pixel and at 100% hardness. For this tutorial I'm going to make a block tile set that contains four tiles. Stencil tiles default to 32 by 32 pixels, so tile sets should be divisible by 32 pixels. For this tile set containing four tiles, I will make a new image at 64 by 64 pixels and paste four layers of the original tile. Now I'm going to make some adjustments to the layers colors and shapes to differentiate the tiles. When you have four different looking tiles, combine the layers and delete the background so any empty space is transparent. I'm also going to slice 45 degrees off of one tile to make one angled tile. Save the revised image as a PNG file, which you will have to save as a copy. Just say OK. Now I'm going to open Stencil 2.2 and I'm going to open up a test version of my Flash game Mr. Pig's Great Escape and I'm going to create a new scene. I'm going to call the scene Tile Set Test and hit Create. On the far right of the Tile Sets palette there is a plus sign. Click on it to create a new tile set and I'm going to name it Tile Set Tutorial and hit Create. On the new window click on Choose Image and find the PNG tile set that you saved. Once you've found it, click Add, and now when you select each tile, you can see the tile's collision bounds. Tiles default to square collision, and I'm going to change my angled tile's collision to Try 45R, and I'm going to make the dark tile have no collision. Now when you look at the tile set palette, you should see the new tile set that you created. Use the pencil tool to lay out your level with your tiles. I'm going to use the angled tiles to make a 45 degree ramp. The darker tiles with no collision will be used for the background, and the lighter tiles will be used to add variety to the stage. And that's the basics of how I create custom tile sets for our stencil flash games. Good luck to you, and as always, have fun! If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below or message me. Thanks for watching! Please like, share, and subscribe for future Pixel Flix updates.